Well, as you guys can probably see from all the water holes and the mud, we have hit a wet stretch, folks. The last two or three weeks here, in the May, 1st of June, they've been wet. But don't you worry, we have a job I believe we can tackle today. Let me tell you about it. All right, so here's the plan for today. They're calling for rain for the majority of the day again. So we're going to uh, try to get the super stick out of retirement, head up to Rocky Point to Ralph. It's always an adventure working for Ralph. Never fails to be an adventure. <laughs> again, I don't really know what we're doing, but I'm sure it'll be uh, eventful. Eventful, yeah. But uh, I, think, I think we're setting some spud poles for his gas dock. He says we need the extra reach, so we're going to get the old super stick out of retirement here. Get it loaded up. It looks like it's been a while since we've been used it. It's kind of, kind of, kind of hidden, kind of hidden in here. So anyways, the loader's not on the lot. We got the Hyundai down here, so let's get the Hyundai fired up. We get the super stick loaded up. The 120 is uh, on the job where we built the road, took the big tree down, which is actually on the way to where we're going. So we'll pick it up on the way there. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan for this morning. I hope the rain holds off. Hope the rain holds off. Let's get this little girl fire up this morning. Oh, still smells so new. Never now. First things first, I need to move this big A-frame out of the way. I'm hoping I get the back of the bucket on there. Easy. Maybe I can just set it over here out of the way. Now we should be able to get to the super stick. That's pretty close to center. Tell you what, that Hyundai, that's a pretty strong machine. Just a little bit on his toes. it much easier to hook up on the machine later well look at you giving good advice this morning hey right, man experience pays off sometimes <laughs> coming down out of work all right matt's over there getting the uh super stick tied down we're gonna go about two miles up the road here it's not 120 i'm sure he'll uh catch up with us at some point Trying to get a head start on. We got more rain moving in this evening, so trying to just get a get stuff rolling here the best we can. So let's head on up the road and grab the old deer. Well, 
good news is the old deer is right there where I left her. The bad news is, I don't know if you guys can see, it's starting to rain. I don't think I'm going to take my chances of backing in there off the road. It looks a little muddy. So, it's the, uh, it's the 120. We can get away with loading it right here on the road. So, let's do that. Alright guys, we did a quick fluid check on this thing in the rain. Let's fire this girl up. She's back to life. The, uh, I know you guys haven't seen the Volvo for a while. It's been in the shop. Uh, got a video coming on it. Let's just say I got it fixed. It wasn't a huge repair. Just didn't have time to work on it. And the 120 stayed running, so we just kept going. The reason I'm taking the 120 this morning, I don't know if it's the best machine for the job. I think we're going to be reaching out over the riverbank. It would probably be handy to have that blade to stabilize myself a little bit. But the Volvo has been hauled to another job we got rained out on. It's a good ways from here, so we're gonna load the 120 up and go for it. I think we can. I think we can figure it out. It's, this is the nice part about having two machines. Uh, is we can is we can leapfrog stuff around and, and make it work. So we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do with the reliable here. I guess. All right. It's raining pretty good now. Let's get this thing loaded up. We'll find out, I guess. See what we got. Hopefully we got a little bit of fuel in the truck because this thing's sitting on empty. If not, I think we're working on the fuel dock, so hopefully there's fuel there. Either way, we'll figure it out. We're off. Well guys, we just rolled into Rocky Point. I guess we'll uh, swing in here, get unloaded, and see what we got. The good news is I stopped raining for at least right now. fuel i think we have around a half a tank and yeah, that'd be plenty guess we need to go find ralph all right guys we are down here and i think we got a plan the first couple we do not need the uh, super stick far. I think we can reach them with just the bucket. We got strict, strict instructions not to destroy the rose bushes. So, I think the last video with the rose bushes was tearing down the house. I got told not to destroy a road bush, so I asked them to destroy a rose bush. So, let's hope this goes better than that. I 
I'm gonna try to get down there and turn sideways and then we'll grab it. He's gonna run the strap for you. Do you want it on the bucket or do you want him to have it? Uh, probably have him to have it. I'll, I'll probably take the bucket off and lower it down next to it. Okay. All right, before we set the pole, we gotta pull the dock towards the bank. Strap down there <coughs> pulls that dock over. <laughs> Only pulls the dock over, not the block over. <laughs> we gotta stay. Don't forget. Famous last words. Famous last words for holding my beer. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Does he need more slack? Try to snatch it a little bit lower. That might get more boom pressure on it. Number one, pole one, Mike zero. <laughs> All right, new strap, thicker strap. Figure out how to get the strap to hold. you have rigged down there my level of confidence is at about a one out of ten just pick up on it. <laughs> first try oh i think it's gonna come
side and uh, Ralph said just leave that one. I don't know what's going on with that. Usually these poles come out pretty easy. I need the Volvo with the blade or I need a log or something to sit on. The ground's just so soft right there. We're doing more damage than good. Ralph's got another pole, so he said let's just uh, let's just leave that one. It's not hurting anything. We're gonna throw this other pole in. So. There we go. Which way are we doing it this time? We decided to go with the chain, opposed to the strap. We're hopeful. Do we tap? <laughs> no. I told all your fans that you got the 120 on her tippy toes and it still won't yank it. Ralph says tap. Time to tap, folks. 
Yeah. All right, we tried every trick in the book to get that uh, get down there to spud pole out. Those suckers must be in the ground a lot deeper than what we realized. Ralph says we put them in. I don't remember putting them in, but I ain't gonna argue with them. All kinds of goodies in that pipe. Yeah, just a few. So Ralph's got another pipe here. Honestly, I think it's too short, but it is what it is at this point. You want to put the telephone pole here? Hold on. Ralph's changing plans on it. Here's the updated plan. Ralph's got one long telephone pole left. He preferred to have it drove out here on the river. But we're not for sure if we can reach it or not. So we're gonna walk down here and do a test run. If we think we can reach it, we're gonna put it out in the river. If we don't think we can reach it, he's gonna put it over here. So let's see what we got. So Ralph would prefer to have that spud all the way on the end. I don't think we can reach that. I told him with a little bit of luck, I think we can reach uh, right between those, right in the center of it. He said that's better than nothing. So we're gonna go back over, set that short one. The plan is on that short one is to drive it down to about dock length and he's got another section he can weld on top of it later. And then we'll put the super stick on, come over here and try to set this one. We're gonna go set that short one. All right, take two on the stubby pole. This one should be pretty easy here. If you guys can see out there, the dam is right there. So all this water has been backed up and flooded. So there's, I don't think the dam flooded in 75. So there's just a tremendous amount of silt down here. There's probably about 15, 20 feet of silt that's filled in here over the years. So that's all these poles go down so easy into that silt. I guess that's also what they're stuck in. pipe on top of it. Alright, I guess we're going to go hook the super stick up and see if we can reach that last one. This thing is always so hard to see. Thank <laughs> you. 
stand on the ground, hook up the hoses. Make sure we got the reach. Make sure we got the stability we want. Then we'll go for it. All right, we're like we can reach farther than what we thought, but not quite as far as what we want. Right there, where Ralph's cutting, that's at where we're gonna be. So we're gonna rig this thing up and go for it. See what happens. I think I can get it over there. Okay. Right there. Up.
think I can reach the top of it. good not gonna lie that was a little bit of a nerve-wracking reach out there but uh we got it we got it bud it's in there ralph says that'll do the job he gets a bunch of boats to come up here and uh docks to get fuel he's one of the few spots on the river between evansville and louisville that actually he's got fuel so uh that allows him to get some of the bigger boats in there they're in some deeper water but uh i got the drone out let's finish this one off with the drone flight and we'll call it a wrap